You are ready. Should we start now? Yes, sir. All right, so this is an example right in front of me. Let's compare this writing task to with the format of IELTS essay IELTS task 2 I discussed before. First of all, we have to identify the question type, which is very, very important thing. Here you can see the question is some of the methods used in advertising are unethical and unacceptable in today's society. This is only one side of the statement, right? Not yes, like, uh, for example, some of the methods used in advertise are ethical, uh, but here can be something like this. But there are some people who think these are ethical. Discuss both sides and give your opinion. So that would have been the other type of the essay, right? But first of all, we will discuss the type which is right in front of us. Some of the methods used in advertising are unethical and unacceptable in the today's society. To what extent? This is an important word. To what extent do you agree with this view? Now, if they ask to what extent, it means how much percentage? If you say I completely agree, it means you 100% agree. And in this situation, you will have to write both body paragraphs in the favor of agree side. Right? And if you yes. say, I partially agree, I partially agree means 50%. It means one body paragraph will be in the favor of agree and the other one will be in the side of disagree. Disagree. So this is how we attempt to what extent do you agree or disagree. If the question, a, let's say the question is discuss both sides and give your opinion, then what you will do? You will write one side of the argument or the statement in first body paragraph and second in the second body paragraph. This is how you will do the uh, discuss both sides and give your opinion essay. Thirdly, when there is an essay which says write advantages and disadvantages. Similarly, you will describe advantages in one body paragraph and disadvantages in the second body paragraph, right? Hi. So that's all. Uh, there will be a fourth question type. There is a fourth question type and in that they ask what are the causes and effects or the solution of the problem means what are the causes of a problem and what are the possible solutions? So you have to write the causes in one body paragraph and solutions in the second body paragraphs. So that's all. This was the discussion related to the asset types. First of all, you will identify them and then you will have to start writing. And I have told you that how you should split your time in task two. Five plus 30 plus five means total 40 minutes. First five for planning, then 30 minutes for writing and last five minutes for rechecking. Now let's start uh, the discussion and compare it with the format. First of all, we have to understand the question. Some of the methods used in advertising or promotion are unethical and unacceptable, unacceptable in the today's society. To what extent do you agree with this statement? Now let's see if this writer agrees 100% or 50%. Okay, first of all, this is the background statement. Okay, you have 20 seconds. Read the first body paragraph. This is exactly according to the format. First sentence is the background statement. 
then paraphrasing of the given question, then uh, clearly opinion, and what these essay will discuss, right? So uh, the person used reasons for this change. Is this the appropriate word to use here? Because we are to discuss uh, the view regarding that we agree or disagree. He's saying that we will discuss the prominent reasons for this change in approach of business. Reasons. As per the understanding of the writer, he says that I agree 100%. I firmly agree means 100% agree. But I have some reasons based on these reasons. I agree 100%. So he will discuss the reasons. Reasons why he firmly agree with the statement, right? Mm. Okay. Exactly. And obviously that will be, uh, there will be examples. Let's see if they are relevant or not. Okay. Now here comes the first, I think, right? Yes, sir. <clears throat> this is the first body paragraph. First body paragraph. First sentence is always a topic sentence. Topic sentence means in which you discuss or mention your central idea, which you will discuss in the whole paragraph. What is that? The most common practice in modern marketing is the involvement of women in almost every television commercial with indecent attire. Now, this is the key central idea, involvement of women. Right? Yes, sir. with okay. indecent attire, basically. Uh, exactly, exactly. Then, as a result, okay, these are the this the, is the explanation or supporting sentences. We're going to go down. Then there comes an example. Okay, let me tell you one thing. This example can be something authentic, right? Can be a true information or it can be a fake information as well. Right, but only you have to convey it properly and link it with the question, with okay. your central idea. And finally, coming down, you will see, therefore, after the example, this activity was banned with intervention of the government officials. Hence, most of the times promotional companies use methods which are against the norms of the country and eventually hurt feelings of the people. This is a closing sentence, right? But yes. somehow I think that it is not linked back with the topic sentence. In the topic sentence, you have mentioned that your central idea is involvement of women, but you haven't mentioned this in the closing sentence. Keep this thing in your mind that you have to link it back. You have to link your closing sentence with the topic sentence. Done? Done. So there should have been the word, there should have been the basically the central idea. So I think it is clear now. Let's move on to the second body paragraph, which is your third body, third paragraph of the essay. In addition to above, now I have told you that if he agrees 100%, it means both body paragraphs will be in the favor of agree side. In addition to above means he has discussed something and similarly he's going to add something more into the same thing so he has used this phrase in odd in addition to above right you can yes, also sir. use furthermore moreover both have the same meaning okay spending hefty amount of money for advertisement of tobacco has also become common in modern world now, this is a practical example of something that can be used in a negative way. If used in excess, right? Means he is targeting advertisement of tobacco. Tobacco. Okay. Now, teenagers are fascinated with the graphics used in the commercials, obviously. Okay, then for instance, means you have to include an example, right? Previously, he used the term for example. Can you see it? For example, now change of a word. Instead of example, he wrote instance. For instance. Yes, sir. Okay. For instance, then coming down, 
Now the last sentence of the paragraph is the closing sentence. Let's see if this closing sentence is linked back with the uh, <coughs> topic sentence or not. In my opinion, in spite of the fact that business owners spread the negative effects of smoking, they motivate, they motivate. people to use tobacco for their commercial or a commercial is not an appropriate word here. You should use monetary, right? right. For their monetary gain. Yes, obviously in this uh, sentence, he has linked back the main central idea with the topic sentence, okay? So this is the key. This is how you write the center, uh, the body paragraph. Now, finally, this is the conclusion. And in conclusion, how do you write? Let me repeat. First of all, in conclusion, comma, this essay has discussed whatever this essay has discussed. Right? I mean, what you discussed in body paragraph one or two, you will mention here only the central ideas. Then your opinion or suggestion or any recommendation and you will close the conclusion with a general statement right <clears throat> a general statement means any statement related with the topic or it might be the paraphrasing of the topic but it should sense uh, i mean you should the reader should sense that something is going to be closed right <clears throat> just like uh, this one Ending of the first body paragraph. Promotional companies use methods which are against the norms of the country and eventually hurt feelings of the others, of the people. Now, this is basically a general statement, right? Relevant with the topic and giving a sense that something is going to be closed. Okay, so coming okay. back to the conclusion. In conclusion, undoubtedly, the techniques used by marketing agencies, companies are immoral and are not coherent with the values of the society. I believe the excessive, uh, this is the spelling mistake, use be whatever you want to write. You can also use, use use of female models in all sorts of advertisements and visual graphics while showing tobacco. Now this is the correction, okay, in red pen. Showing tobacco products in an attractive way are the most prominent irrational methods used for prom for promotion. Last sentence is difficult to understand. You can split it. Now, why I have I have written this? Because you have to be very careful in your conclusion. Okay, do not miss make any mistake while ending the essay. You have to follow the format which I had discussed in the previous video. And what is that in conclusion? This essay has discussed what this essay has discussed. OK, then your clear opinion, your clear stance and finally open your suggestion, recommendation or the general statement. OK, this is the discussion about the essay. That is how you do it. And obviously when you will write an essay, I will check. I will let you know what are the mistakes later on. OK, but these are the things which you should keep in your mind. Done? Done, sir. Okay.